the UEFA Champions League is the tournament to win. Even from a young age, I wasn't sitting there thinking, oh, it's not that it, it hit home straight away for me. It's the elite. Listen, the Champions League is playing against the best players, the best teams. Yeah, I watched Manchester United win the Champions League. They should have been beat. Two players to come off the bench in Solskjaer and Teddy Sheridan. The score was just like, it was just, there was the disbelief. Absolute crazy scenes. Zidane's goal is probably one of the things that stands out for me. Left foot volley. Please let me have one then one day. Played for Leeds first in the Champions League. You line up before the game and the music comes on and you go, wow, I'm here. We beat Deportivo in the quarterfinals. I scored the winner. I don't remember too much about it. Keeper had no chance. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that Leeds team were a really good team. Huge potential. Young, hungry, all trained hard together. All went out and partied together. Probably one of the most enjoyable moments of my career, that 18 month spell I had at Leeds. We played the semi-final. We played the first game against Valencia at home. They had, they had a great team. We drew 0-0 and I thought, we're going to fold these up when we go to their place. We went and we got absolutely murdered. The two finals against Barcelona, not great memories, not great times. But in the first game in Rome, I still think we could have beaten. Wembley is the worst one out of the two because we got embarrassed. Probably the best club side I've ever played against. Possibly the best player ever in Messi. They absolutely played us off the park. I remember me, Giggsy and Scolzi were stood there when they walked up to get their medals and get the trophy. And we were all standing there with our hands crossed and going to each other. That was embarrassing. That was, an, that was we've been embarrassed there. But that night in Moscow goes down as the best night I ever had on the football pitch. You lead your team out and you do see the trophy and you think, well, I'm 90 minutes from actually lifting that bad boy. <laughs> we smashed them first half. They came back, they had a lot of chances second half. In extra time, all I was thinking was, I was actually happy to go to penalties. That's why he brought on Nani and Anderson, because they were going to be penalty takers. They're all going in and you're sitting there scared. Ronaldo missed one and you're thinking, oh no, it's just written in the stars. The best player in the world that year is going to be on the losing team after missing the penalty in the shootout. I think Giggsy took the penalty and I was going to be next. So I was like about seven or eight. And my legs were gone. So I'm thinking, please save it, man. I don't want to go out there. I don't want to walk. My legs were that shaky. You know, Nicholas went up for his penalty. I'm shouting to Edwin van der Sar. And I'm pointing like that. Nicholas Anelka comes up and puts it that way. And so luckily, Edwin didn't look at me and just his history. You etch yourself in the history of a football club when you win the Champions League. <laughs>